Gamers version 1.3 live stream. We reacted to it earlier. If you want to see me reaction to it, there'll be a video on the channel already for that. But to, what I really want to talk about right now is basically everything coming to version 1.3. There's a lot coming to it. Honestly, it is packed full of stuff, guys. It, it is actually huge the amount of stuff we're getting. First of all, guys, we're getting Don Hung. We're also getting Fu Shuan. Uh, and then also links as well, which is our quantum healer, quantum tank, and imaginary destruction type character. They all look really good in their own right. Uh, honestly, I was really impressed with Fu Shuan. Maybe I just have a bias towards Fu Shuan, but I like the fact that she can heal herself and she's very self-sustaining. She also gives a damage resist buff to the whole team. And then on top of that, she's... Uh, basically splitting the damage that your allies take, so that means when your Kotsky Sampo or, or Foxy and Mommy gets attacked 3,000 times because, you know, she's the real tank on the team, that Fu Shuan will be helping out all that. That looks really insane, right? Uh, but we're gonna talk about the characters more in another video. What I really want to touch on in this video is all of the events coming to the game and all the new stuff coming to the game. First of all, uh, the reason I say this uh, this update's packed full of stuff is first of all, we are getting a new Trailblazer mission, guys, already. We just got a Trailblazer mission last patch. We're already getting a new Trailblazer mission this patch. I'm assuming this is going to close off our story in the Lawfu, uh, judging by seeing all these characters here look off to the heavens. This looks like a very, very, like, the, like the imagery here looks like it's a closing chapter for the Lawfu. I feel like they're going to find the Stellaron, um, and everything's going to be figured out with Jing Luiu and stuff like that. Uh, also, on top of this, we're getting four companion quests. So not only are we getting more Trailblazer story, we're getting more companion quests as well, and four of them at that. So that means a lot more Stellar Jades, first of all, and a lot more story in general. We're going to be learning more about March 7th backstory, uh, more about Don Hung. We're solving mommy and daddy issues with Lynx's family. We're going to solve their family issues there. We're going to be their therapist, and then we're going to help Luca train and get his second Zenkai boost. So maybe he'll do more damage outside of his break effects. So that would be really, really fun and amazing to see. Yo, maybe we'll see him get buffed in his own companion quest. Let's go. By the way, I'm not saying uh, Luke is bad or anything like that. I'm just saying, um, uh, for me anyways, his damage is kind of cope without break effect. But uh, that's, that's just me. We're also going to be getting a free Shu Shang from the Hustle and Bustle event. We're also getting a, uh, a self resonating as you model module as well. And a new area. This area looks super cool. I love the vibe of this area. This looks like a back alley of a city or something like that at nighttime. It looks really, really good to me. And the event as well looks really cool too. Like I said, it looks kind of like the, um, the museum event. Uh, and, and how it works. But it has like all these lines and stuff. I don't know how to describe it past that. But has like all, all these lines and food stalls. You can basically open a store and then you put stuff down like an inventory arrangement. And then after you put the inventory arrangement down, then I guess you sell it and stuff like that. That's the best way I can describe it. Uh, oh, you make logistics planning to how to actually get stuff through your city, which is also pretty cool. I like these little events like this because they give you a lot to do. They give you a new little area to look at and kind of like just chill out in. And on top of this, it gives you a lot as far as like the rewards you get from it too, right? Uh, it's giving you obviously the tracks to destiny. Stellar Jades is giving you a self-resident model and a Su Shong, which means you're getting a free four-star physical DPS. That is super, super huge. Uh, Shu Shuang is just like a really good character all around anyways. And now we're getting it for free. So that's very, very cool. We're getting prosperity levels from it too, guys. So this means more Trailblazer levels. If you are struggling to get your Trailblazer level up, I'm already 65, so it doesn't really matter to me. But, I mean, still really cool to see. And phone wallpapers as well, kind of cool. Another really, really big update to simulate a universe. Uh, honestly, I am impressed with like how big this update is, right? We are getting a lot of content. That makes me scared for 1.4. I feel like it's just gonna be hella dead uh, with the amount of stuff we're getting uh as you can see here it's, it's it looks very similar to honkai impact the thirds like um elysian around like this one more so than the other ones uh it has like a chessboard type of thing where you can go through each stage there's mini games you can catch the trotters you can catch all the trotters now yo danny's ability or technique uh, is gonna be absolutely amazing for this we'll talk more about that when we do his uh when we do his character a video, which will come out in a couple days. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on that. But yeah, Propagation. Uh, Remembrance, we're getting a new path called Propagation. This is just really cool. I mean, this is just adding a new vertical to Simulate Universe, in my opinion. And I'd like to see it. But yeah, overall, the event just looks really, really big. Um, I mean, you get a lot of awards from it, too. We're getting two self-resonating modules from this event. So, hey... Hey, by all means, give me the self resonating modules because holy my relic luck is garbage and I swear I won't waste them this time. Also, something quickly I want to bring up here. It looks like we're getting a new relic. 
uh, the fool's mask. All blessings and possessions are swapped to a random blessing with their enhancement levels retained. Bro, that is kind of that's kind of that is kind of funny right there. Imagine you get like all hunt buff or something like that, or you're getting absolutely a hoed on your relics. You pick that up, you get everything you need, or vice versa. You have everything you need, you accidentally pick that up, and it changes it to all random ass shit you do not need at all. That's gonna be amazing. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, so new simulated universe stuff. On top of that, we're getting like this, like, I don't know, it's like a path type thing where it gives us buffs for each path, uh, depending on what buffs we get while we're doing it. Uh, and it's going to affect like basically the overall buffs that we have for simulated universe. So depending on like how many buffs we get, obviously you'll get it maxed out at some point, right? So you'll be getting, you know, max buffs for all the paths. So all of your characters will have buffs. But yeah, this is just uh, really nice. Uh, the final boss at the end was hitting my boy for like thousands of damage. Here are the buffs right here on screen now. I mean, it gives you attack buff, resonance buff, damage resistance buff, reboot plane, a bunch of stuff like that. And it, there's one for each path. Really cool. We're also getting, um, I guess, like sub upgrades within those paths too, from what it looks like. Uh, Trail of the Past Rider. Also pretty cool to see that as well we're getting a lot of like upgrade type stuff which this makes it very grindy it makes the event very grindable because of how many upgrades there are it makes people want to grind the event and play the event more which i like by the way bro who let them bring their level one qq into battle bro they have not been grinding their xp i swear look at this look at this L bro has 600 hp they brought their level one qq into battle here bro they think i wouldn't notice Bro, you're trolling. First, and also, 4,000 HP blade? Bro, I cannot. What are they, they are trolling with this blade. The, the, yo, they're, they must be running crit blade over here or something, bro. Uh, that, that HP is ridiculous. What the hell is that? Bro almost got one shot by a beetle. Ain't no way. Uh, and then, like I said before, we're also getting the propagation path inside of Simulated Universe. I would like to see the other one stay a thing, like, especially if it gives us rewards past this. I think that could be really cool to see because I do like... If they're like making changes and improving the simulated, simulated universe or adding more content to the simulated university ways because in a way it's kind of like adding more in-game content right the way they're changing and mixing and matching how the simulated universe works I, I do really like that aspect of simulated universe yeah we're getting two self-resonating modules we're also getting um the big trace materials as well which is cool, I guess. We really don't need it. Space Station Task Force. All this is right here is basically your daily assignments. You just send off people on your daily assignments. And from there, you get rewards off that. You get Stellar Jades every day, though, which is cool, right? Uh, so, very, very cool. What do we get for the golden one? 40 Stellar Jades for the golden one. And it looks like we got 10 for the blue ones. Uh, and then there's also purple ones as well. So, maybe we get like 25 uh, the 20 of the other ones, probably 20, right? 10, 20, and then a 40 for the gold ones. That's what I can assume as far as that goes. So a pretty good amount of stellar jades for that. We're also getting planet fissure, which that means we get double rewards from the simulated universe. That means double planar ornaments. Very, very pog, very, very cool. Gardens of plenty, double XP rewards, double trace material rewards. Very cool to me as well. And then we're also getting two new events, or my bad, not two new events, but two new bosses for a tra like upgrade materials for the new characters Don Hung and Fu Xuan. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I mean, cool, I guess, that you're adding new enemies into the game, but I feel like this screen's gonna get really, really cluttered really, really quick with just a bunch of essential materials if they keep adding in like these essential materials to the game, right? Because let's say that the this update does end the Jianzhou Law Fu. What characters are we really getting for the Zianjo Law Fu that are actually going to take use of these? We've already got one for Blade. We got one for Dragon Daniel now. And then we have one for Fu Shuan. Like, who who all is taking use of this stuff? I have no clue. Um, but yeah. You're so cringe when you're recording. I am the embodiment of cringe, Aster. But yeah, really my main gripe here is the list becoming extra cluttered up. I don't know. I, I just feel like it's going to become extra cluttered up whenever you're doing or trying to find something in there. We're getting more resin, like I talked about in my previous video, guys. They already announced this, but yeah, we're getting more resin. 180 to 240, and then also a reserve trailblazer power system. Really nice. I can just log in once a day now and don't have to worry about logging in twice. I can ship post now and send stickers to all of my friends because I have those. Uh, yeah, and then also Genshin players. Look at this, guys. This is uh, this is this is what we're getting. We're getting a free temple, guys. 
How 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 are those anniversary rewards uh, treating you for your third year anniversary? Uh, I'll see you guys next year when you get your uh, when you get your 40th pull for free in Genshin. But yeah, that's a quick little breakdown of everything coming to the game in version 1.3. So uh, looks really big to me. What do you guys think on this? Leave it in the comments down below. Come check us out on Twitch.tv forward slash you can see me. We stream there just about every day. That's where we do the live reaction. At. And if you want to see my live reaction to it, go check out my previous video that I posted earlier today on on this fact. So guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one later. Bye bye.